In SharePoint 2010, just as in SharePoint 2007, your sites are divided into lists and libraries. Libraries can be created in the same manner as in 2007. All libraries are based on the kind of content you are dealing with. Under Site Actions, click the down arrow to the right of Site Actions. Go down to the menu option, View All Site Content. On the Site Content page, as you can see, there are four types of libraries associated with my site. Shared Documents, Site Adsets, Site Pages, and a Style Library. Just as in 2007 and 2010, to create a new library, click the Create button to the left of Site Workflows. The Create page displays with different types of items to be created on the left-hand navigation. They can be filtered by Type, Library, List, Page, or Site, and by Categories based on the different categories associated with those types. Clicking the Library link reveals the various types of libraries that can be created. An Asset Library, a Document Library, a form library, picture library, slide library, and wiki page library. Selecting one of these items gives you a description of that particular item to the right. You can also see more options for that item by clicking the More Options button below on the right. This provides you with a place to add the name and description, to state its navigation, to give it a document version history, or to use a specific document template. To return to your home page, click the Close button in the upper right-hand corner of the title bar, and the Create page closes. To return to your home page, use the Navigation Up icon and select the highest or parent site which is your home page.